Hi there, welcome back to my channel. In this video we're going to go over some solds, uh, some ones that sold on auction so you can kind of guess that you could maybe have doubled your money on those ones. Um, but they're nice and quick sales, they're, they're gone within a week. Um, also we'll go over just some items that I've had on for a while but they've bought in a good return. Um, we're filming from my glamorous stockroom today aka my loft. <laughs> okay, so let's go over the what's sold. So the first what sold is this Scottish horn cutlery set, cutlery set. Um, as you can see they sold for 27 plus 4.99 shipping and these are in a previous video Um, probably would have spent in total a pound on all of these. These were also in a previous video. See, this is what's good. My videos are capturing me buying these things and then I can do the what sold videos and you can literally see what I'm getting for these items. These were on an auction originally. So this is um, me, me testing the water with these. So, and this won't make sense. So they were on for seven days on an auction for 50 pounds. They didn't sell. Then I put them on at fixed price for fifty four ninety nine, open to offers, and they sold. I think within twenty four hours of them being on it, a fixed price. No one offered me anything; they just paid the full amount. So <laughs> make of that what you will. This is why not all people are online looking at eBay for that week that you've got the item on. So that's why when things don't sell, they are so worth putting on at a fixed price. So this is a prime example. This one, uh, I can't remember what I spent on this, maybe two or three pounds. And we sold the bronze Garuda figurine for 35, pl 35 pounds plus shipping. The Japanese choking art, I remember this on a video. We spent two pounds on this and we sold it for 20 pounds plus 5.99. And I think this was an offer sent to me. I think I had this on for twenty six ninety nine, something like that. So happy with that. And you'll be able to see yourself when I bought these. Um, maybe a couple of months old. This, I was happy with this. And this is why I've put this in this one. This wasn't a great return. But there is a video where I bought a load of children's items um, from a charity shop for, I think, maybe three or four pounds for the entire set. I got the Barbie wardrobe, that sold. I got a load of um, miniature um, spoons and some of those were George Jensen. They sold. And then these. These were the last things in that set and these sold for £17 plus £8.99 postage. Ikea seems to be doing well, guys. We really need to start looking at Ikea stuff. This was a brilliant sale. I had this on for maybe three or four days. I had a lot of viewers, uh, watchers, sorry. Uh, the Alessi Italy Louis Clotet stainless steel modernist, modernist dish. Um, we bought this one for maybe two or three pounds. It was a bundle at the car boot sale. I think the entire bundle cost me nine. Um, and this one sold for 35 plus postage really quickly. So I'm definitely going to be look, looking out for any of these modernist pieces. They seem to be doing so well now. This one, the Structured Jute and Leather Whistles Bag. Whistles is a bolo brand to look out for. This had a lot of watchers again. And someone paid the full asking price, $28.99. It was open to offers, but someone snatched it up. Um, maybe a fortnight this was online. I knew this would sell because it's such a pretty one. An original oil painting, the subject of the teapot and the flowers, the pastel colours. There was a lot about this um, and it was vintage from the 70s, obviously. So £25 plus postage. I believe this was an offer. I think it was maybe on for £27.99, something like that. Another cat figurine. The cat figurines do seem to sell. I did actually find out the maker of this particular cat figurine. I can't remember what it was now. But the price still was about right. I still, even with the maker, would have priced it around this. So $16.99 plus postage. Happy with that one. Okay, so silver plated tea sets. I will pick these up if they are complete. If there's no bleeding, as in 
the silver plate rubbing away and the base metal shining through. Usually, like, the coppery brass shines through. Um, I don't pick up anything that's bleeding. Um, then this one had one very small dent in the sugar bowl. And I already had the tray. So I picked up these three pieces for £10. I will not pay over £10 for a silver plated tea set unless there's a cracker of a name stamped to the base. Um, so yeah, they do generally sell. This one sat on for maybe a couple of months. Um, no, actually, maybe not even that. It sat in my house for a few months. I didn't have it on all that time. So yeah, maybe a month. Uh, 35 99 plus postage so yeah pick these up if you can get them 10 pound or under if they're a complete set if there's not too many dents and if the silver plate is still quite good on it you don't necessarily need a tray but i had a tray this was a great buy for me and a great buy for my buyer because this was a harris tweed lady suit jacket um a skirt uh it was a hundred percent wool um, a stunning vintage suit. I got them for one ninety nine a piece, so one ninety nine for the skirt and one ninety nine for the jacket, and so that's four pounds. And they got it for thirty five pound plus postage. This suit is probably worth seventy to eighty, but I'm happy to let it go. I, I'm not great at dealing in clothes. Uh, this one was a nice quick sale. wasn't a like a huge amount of money, but I probably bought this. I bought this in a bundle at the car boot sale, so I maybe paid maybe 25p or 50 pence um, for this jug in the end, and it actually sold super quick. Within like a week and a half, I had a few watches of this, and it just sold. No one sent me an offer. It just sold. 12 99 I was happy with that. This one was the TK um, Mycin Thun Cluster. I can't pronounce it, it was the blue onion <laughs> gravy boat dish um, this sold quite quickly again, £20 plus postage, I believe that was an offer I think I had that one for £24.99 so these two, we have these ones here and these ones here um, these are I, and they both went to the same buyer, but the buyer paid shipping for both I, I didn't even get a chance to combine the shipping not that I maybe could have got it much cheaper because um, they were quite heavy. They, it was mainly the frames that were really so, so heavy. Um, but yeah, they both sold £35 plus shipping. £35 plus shipping. This one, the Talavera Mexican Pottery. This had a little chip at this side. Um, it's still a beautiful piece. And someone sent me an offer of 21. Happy to accept that. I wouldn't have paid more than a couple of pounds. Oh, I love this. This is my Navajo Sterling Silver David Lister Lapis Torque Bracelet. It is gorgeous. It has been online. Now, I did record this, buying this one. But it was back in the day where it was just video down. I wouldn't turn the camera on to myself. I was still too nervous. So... Um, I would say December or January. I would need to go back and have a look. So this has been online a little while. No, I kept it for a while and then I put it online. So maybe I put it on maybe February. And then that's it sold for 90. So I think that was an offer though. I had that on for 125, I believe. These sold. My candles have done so well. I was so chuffed with them. So... Um, and it, how easy is it to do the multiple listings? So if you have more than one of an item, I found it really, really handy. So both of these sold to a dear, dear viewer and subscriber and friend. So thank you so much. Both of them went for £6.50 each. So £13 plus postage. This was a lovely little thing. I remember this in one of my videos, um, but I have had that for a few months now. And um, the small vintage Art Deco Japanese hand painted vase. I think I had this on for eighteen ninety nine, and I got an offer for fifteen. They sold. <laughs> now I had these on for one hundred and eighty five. Someone offered me one seventy, and I was I accepted them, and then they didn't pay. They didn't pay. 
So I ended up messaging, are you intending to purchase these? And they messaged back saying, no, <laughs> no, they changed their mind. Now, the person who did that had no feedback. They were zero. They were a brand new eBayer. So I was very weary anyway. You have to be when there's no one's got any feedback. So I cancelled that sale, put them back online. And within 24 hours, I got an offer of 125. And I did. I snapped it up purely because the person was reputable, um, had lots of feedback. And I thought, right, well, at least I can guarantee that you'd pay. So off they went to the authenticity place. And then they're going... I think to Denmark. So £125 for our Adidas trainers. And this one, this was the Luminarch glass cloche dome and plate. I think I picked this up for maybe five or six pounds. It's in the original box and we sold it for £55 plus £8.99. Um, and a bit of a nightmare to package up, but it is a gone. So fingers crossed. I've not heard back anyway. So right, those were all the fixed price items um that I wanted to show you and was really happy with, with all of those. Good returns for what I've paid for them. Now we're gonna go over some auction items that you can pretty much add on a little bit of money had I put these on at a fixed price. So the first one was this vintage lucite resin encased multicolor ring we got we had a few good few watches for this we had a bid really early on and it just stayed at 16 pounds the entire time so that one sold paid for shipped out this was the victorian moore brothers now i picked this up uh, from the charity shop i can't remember how much i paid these generally do quite well but this had a lot of damage um so i put this on at an auction someone bid for £10 plus £8.99 that's fine that was enough for me if I'm putting the minimum amount I would be willing to accept for it and that's what I did for this this is what I do for most of them what would there's the minimum amount I'll stick it on at auction at that um so at fixed price I could have maybe got 20 25 for this but happy for it to go within the seven days this was the large resin bangle we see we like a few of my viewers in that and we believed it was Jackie Brazil Sobral but this one was unsigned and some of them online are signed so I had to put do the question mark it just you know covers me so we had a good few watches again but just one bid earlier on um in the auction uh 20 pound plus 4.99 shipping and again with these two items uh they were bought from the it was like a jumble sale um i bought a big massive lot so i would maybe put a couple of quid to these two maybe two pound each so we'll say four pounds and um, we put them on at auction for 25 and we got a bid so again maybe could have put these on at a fixed price for 40 45 um and they would have sold at that so those were just a few of the items that i wanted to show you keep an eye out of artwork i always 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 check the artwork it is just worth it if you can pick it up cheap enough um i generally stay away from prints unless the prints are signed um and then anything original and then look at the subject matter um that everything all these things you know will make a sale it doesn't need to be a known artist and um, just the painting itself can make the sale for you i hope you found that informative uh, if you can find these things cheap enough and um, pick them up you can see that they will sell the items that i've shown you that i've sold within seven days on an auction usually on a fixed price you could double that money um, and have it open to offers you can generally achieve more than what you can achieve in an auction auctions are for people like me someone who's trying to get a deal and a half unless you've got a super rare item where your market is you know demanding so like i often find um the asian antiques things like that you know when there's not very many of these things left so that's when you an auction can maybe work for you um otherwise they're great for testing the water i like to test the water because i generally pick things up cheap enough that even at auction i can still make a good profit but when they don't sell on to fixed price they go 
the price goes up but they go open to offers um, and then you can see that that method works as well they just sit online and they wait for their buyer so yeah I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you again soon